Mm -hmm. Smile, isn't it riding around the block three times with a bike is still long? Yeah. Alright, so I'll do six to get it to get to the bike. We're not going to go to Urban Air because um, the group on special, today's one of those blackout days. Oh, man. They knew Seriously? what they were doing, you know? Finally, a real race set up in my youngest son's car. Oh man, that looks good. What is up guys, my name is Mark Sedemarill. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog, guys. Today is a Tamiya Tuesday. Tamiya Tuesdays are back. And guys, it's a special one. Because I have, I got the other day, probably the most sought out for production kit i say production kit because there's a lot of collectible kits out there this isn't the most sought out kit ever but this is the most sought out kit that's in production right now i got it in i'm super excited i'm honored to get it because everyone's freaking out about them but let me show you what it is so you guys who caught the last vlog you guys are probably think it's the avante black edition no it's not this one this might be the most collectible kit i have but this isn't the kit that we're going to reveal today the kit that we're going to reveal today is in this box but this kit is freaking amazing and yeah, I'm not gonna open it. If you haven't seen that vlog yet, I will put a link in the eye above. But it's what's in this box. This box, it came in actually, I think it came in on Christmas Eve. I haven't opened it. I, I know what's in it. I'm super excited. Oh man, we're opening it. All right, so we're doing this one-handed. So before you guys start drawing judgment about, oh, this guy just buys RC cars all the time. I bought this car a long, long time ago. It's been on pre-order for a very, very long time. It's finally here. I'm super freaking stoked. I did get a couple of other cars in the other day and we are going to, I'm going to show you what those cars are because one of the cars that I got in the other day are going to, is going to be the new car that we're going to start building onto me a Tuesday, but I'm not going to start building it yet because the techno nitro truck is not done yet. Move this out of the way. All right, here we go, guys. Here's the big reveal. You guys ready? Here it goes. Oh man. I'm really, really scared about what the box looks like. Like to me, because this is going to be such a collectible kit, I'm going to make sure, I want to make sure the box is in great condition, but here it is. Here it is. Oh my God. There it is. There it is. Oh man. We got the 45th anniversary commemorative model. This is the Tamiya Porsche. Oh, oh, oh. we're going to get it out. Hold on a second. Box looks like it's in good condition. Let's see the back of the box. Back of the box looks like, oh my God, it's pristine guys. No caving of the, of the box at all. So this is the 45th, enter, enter, 45th anniversary commemorative model. This is the Porsche, uh, I'm gonna say Valent. I think that's what it is. Anyways, the reason why this is so sought out for is this is a limited run. And they have a 30th anniversary one that released 15 years ago. And it's already at like $1,500 to $2,000. This kit isn't that expensive. I only paid two, I think I paid $277 for it. But they did such a limited release that a lot of the people who ordered these didn't get them. They're, they're back ordered, they didn't get them. I actually ordered two of them and I only got one. Uh, Doug, my Tamiya consultant, he actually ordered from the same place I did. He didn't get one at all. Uh, so there's a very limited amount of people that are getting them. I know one of the my local hobby ships shops ordered 15. They also haven't got them. The rumor is is there's going to be another run of these in January. So they I guess they had some released, and there's going to be another run of them in January. Hopefully my other ones come in by then. That way we can build one of these. But this is it, guys. This is seriously the most sought after kit right now because you can get them. 
you just got to get your hands on them. And there, I'm sure there's going to be some hobby shop that gets them and they're like, okay, and they put them on the shelves and they're going to sit there forever. If you see this in your local hobby shop, you need to get it. This car is already doubled in value. The retail for 277 bucks on eBay, they're going for $500 all day. I'm assuming in another five, 10 years, it's probably going to be 1500 just like the other one. But wow, this thing is beautiful. Let's look at the side panels and things like that. We're not gonna open it, we're not gonna open it. Uh, quick quick side note, if it's in plastic, that's proof that it is an American release car. The ones that are released in Japan are not in plastic. I am by no means a Tamiya expert, but that's what I've been told. Look at that thing. This looks like a lot of body work, so that's one reason why I'm not too excited about trying to build this thing. But if we get another one, we will open it up and build it. But wow, super freaking cool. We got one guys, oh man. Look, these are my two most collectible kits in my collection. Hold on, let me get, God, I can't do it with one hand, hold on. Oh man, there they are. The two most collectible kits in my collection right there. They look so freaking good. I'm keeping them in the box. Until I get another one, I'm not opening it. I'm expecting one more of these. Hopefully another one comes out. If I do see another one at the shop, I will pick it up at that Dallas shop. Oh man, they look so good. All right, so that's not the only thing we we're gonna do in this video. I did get two more kits in the other day and they're right there, the the Wild One Off-Roader. This is the Blockhead car. These things are freaking amazing. Doug, my boy, my Tamiya consultant, he actually built one up. Oh man, I just landed it on something that shouldn't have been landed on, on a freaking crossbow. He actually built one up already and it's beautiful. So this is gonna be the next kit we build. We're gonna bust one of these open now, but before I bust one open, I'm gonna figure out which box is in better condition and keep it in the box because I got two of them. But, oh man, yeah, I, I'll, I'll try to, if I can remember to, I'll post a picture in one of these corners so you can see the one that I saw the other day. It looks like a super easy build, or at least he told me it was a super easy build and it looks super cool when it's done. This is the Wild One Off-Roader Blockhead Motors. Oh man, I think, I think you can still get these. If not, yeah. This is probably gonna be a limited release also. So let me figure out which which box I like the least and we'll go open this thing. Here's a better look at this kit. Okay, so there is a rumor that the ones that include the Hobbywing ESC are gonna be extra limited, even more rare. I don't know that for sure. So the story that I heard is the, the company that makes their ESCs, the Tamiya ESCs or the manufacturing company, they, they can't make them. So what they did is they partnered up with Hobbywing and now they include Hobbywing ESCs in their cars, which I love Hobbywing ESCs, they're really good. So this one in particular is a Hobbywing edition one. We're gonna open it up anyways. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, freaking beautiful. Guys, how can one not appreciate how nicely packaged Tamiya kits are? Look at how beautiful this thing is. So the reason why I'm excited about building this one is it already comes with a pre-painted body. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, but just like the grasshopper, it's so well put out. Look at that. Oh, everything's packaged nicely. It's uh, it's almost like someone just sat it right there and was just expecting you to open it just like how I did. It is beautiful. I guess this is the Hobbywing ESC. Oh my God. This is going to be a fun build, guys. But again, we got to finish the Nitro Truggy first. And then we can start with this one. This one shouldn't take me long, though. Because, yeah, I don't have to paint it. There's not going to be a lot of body work. I think I might have to paint the helmet though, which, you know, me and painting helmets. By the way, I chose to open this one because see this damage here on this box, down here on the edges. The other one is almost perfect, so perfect. We opened up the beat up box one, which that's not even really a beat up box, but there is some blemishes. But yes, guys, the Wild One Off-Roader Blockhead Motors. Oh man, so excited. Well, there you have it, guys. Hope you liked this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell. Make sure you turn on the notification bell because there's going to be builds coming soon and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So, see you later, guys.